You're watching Michael's Basement Review. Brought to you by GeekMontreal.com. <laughs> Okay, so uh, before we start the show, I just want to tell you guys, uh, after the many comments I received on from my top 10 list, I decided to pick up a book, and I really recommend everybody do the same thing. This is what I picked up. Lock and Key, the hardcover, volume 1. I was absolutely memorized, spellbound. I can't say enough good things about this book. It's phenomenal. Please do yourself a favor. At least wait for the trade um, if you haven't been reading this series. The hardcover book was a little expensive, but I decided to spoil it myself. And, um, okay, so, first things first, cheers. Um, last week, I noticed, well, last Wednesday, I noticed that there was a whole bunch of new number ones coming out. And, um, you know, I really hate that feeling when you come into the comic book shop and you see kind of like an indie-ish title coming out and you're like, should I, shouldn't I? So, uh, I will be reviewing um, Bad Dog, okay. Jersey God, sorry, <laughs> Bad Dog, Jersey Gods, Soul Kiss, and um, Bang Tango. And after that, I will be doing a speed round or speedy speedy quick quick is what I like to call it. Speedy speedy quick quick of all the other stuff that I bought that week. So I hope you enjoy and here we go. This feels like a tribute to Jack Kirby's new gods and not so much steel. The story is very basic. It's about the meeting of a god by the name of Barak and a girl named Zoe. Barak is a no-nonsense god who follows the rules and does his job. Zoe has a tend to have the worst luck in men. The characters are very well developed and very three-dimensional. Also, it's very enjoyable because of the simplicity of it all. There's bad gods, new gods, good gods, a girl in trouble, the hero was going to save the day. The artwork and coloring are astounding. I'll definitely be picking up the next couple of issues. This one has a very close possibility to be coming on my pull list. I have high expectations from any Vertigo book. Titles from this book include critically claimed successes such as Preacher, Why the Last Man, 100 bullets, and so many more. However, I can't say the same thing for this book. I want to be honest. I started reading Bang Tango and I got bored within the very first few pages. So I didn't read the complete book. I was going to force myself, but you should never force yourself to read a comic book. That's just fucking crazy, son. So take this review for what it's worth. From what I could tell, it seemed sex was crammed throughout the book. It seemed forced rather than a natural progression of storytelling. The art was mediocre. I'll be the first one to say this. I've been wrong about these things before. So take this review for half or no merit at all. You know, if I didn't read the review in Images the I Word, I'd been a little lost. A deal with the devil gone bad means production assistant Lily Bloom to strike a second deal with the devil gone worse. Save her boyfriend, Lily must deliver 10 innocent souls to hell by sealing their fates with a kiss. I got that she made a deal with the devil, she killed her boyfriend by accident, and she's got this moth in her mouth that causes dudes to go up in flames when they kiss. I would just not really understood the whole point of all this. As far as story goes, it's mostly just set up, which is fine for a first issue, but the character's purpose should be a bit more clearly explained. The art was fantastic, my problem was with the coloring. It seemed like a blend of water paint and full brush. Neither of them really got the tone of the book. I'm gonna have to say a big pass on this one. This, this is about Lou, a werewolf who has lost his humanity, and Wendell, a midget with a swearing disorder. They're both bounty hunters. Although this concept seems interesting enough, this didn't hit home for me. Wendell's humor is very South Park. It's very funny at first, but then it gets really annoying really fast. Lou's rejection of humanity comes off like an 80s version of a badass with a heart of gold. The only word I can think of is cheesy. Throughout the book, a missing girl case keeps mysteriously popping up. Lou rejects it at first, but you'll know it'll end up taking the case. I find myself being very unsympathetic to this book. Okay, and yeah, so a lot of new stuff except for the exception of Jersey God. Wasn't that great? But this is what else I picked up this week. So characterization plot part two the plot thickens and it is fun great pick it up 
Punisher number two. This is best story arc since Welcome Back, Frank. Um, I'm loving this so much. You're, you'd be a fool to miss it. Secret six number six. Um, this getting back. I didn't like the last issue, but now it's kind of back on track for me, and I'm liking it a lot. Secret Warriors. Nick Fury, Agent of Nothing. This is balls down. You gotta pick this up. This is just jaw dropping, effing crazy. I won't spoil anything, but pick it up. If you're not reading this, you're crazy. Artwork's sensational. Pick it up. Final Crisis Legion of Three Worlds, three of five. Um, sucks that we're still with Final Crisis, but George Perez drawn the f and uh, Jeff Johns writing the Legions of Three Worlds. Ah, you gotta pick this up. You're crazy if you don't. The Boys. Um... This arc wasn't as good as previous arcs, but you know, it wasn't bad either, and I always enjoy this series. I like it a lot. War of Kings, Dark, Ho Dark Hawk number one of two. I'm loving War of Kings, and I'm loving the direction, and I can't wait to see what uh, Dark, Dark Hawk Dark Hawk role is in the War of Kings is. Trinity number 36. Um, I'm reading this on a weekly event now, so I'm back up to speed. I like this book a lot does wonders. Uh, I think the trade's going to be a little bit more better uh, for the Trinity, so if you collect them in a uh, trade of volumes of four, I think you'll really like it. Um, a week to week, it's okay. It's good. It's good stuff. It's a solid, solid week weekly book. Invincible Iron Man number 10. Um, this is good. I like the fact that Tony Stark is now um, the most wanted man on the planet. Feeling like he, you know, a little karma maybe? A little karma, Tony? You like that? Um... But, you know, Matt Fraction is doing a great job writing this, and I uh, like the twists and turns, and Pepper Potts is going to have a little bit more interesting role to play. And Maria, Hill, and Tony. Oh my! George Takei told me to say that. <laughs> Agents of Atlas. Uh, this is okay. Uh, Atlas is pretty much going to be going up against the Mandarin, and there's a little cool uh, Wolverine backstory. Um, Unless you're going psycho and picking up everything with Dark Rain, uh, I'd take a pass on it. Alright, uh, what you heard in the background is, I believe, a St. Catherine song. So their contact info will be popping out right now. And um, I hope you enjoyed the show. Let me know about your comments and whatnot. And um, I'll see you next week. Take care. <laughs> Thank you.